With us on set once again is Tom Renner, and this time he bought, brought his friend, Art Carmaccio. Welcome, guys. How are you? Really good. Really excited to be here. Now, how did you guys meet? Well, we met at a uh, Michael DePasquale uh, stunt camp, and I was just getting into the business. I wanted to learn how to do stunt fighting, and Art was the director, choreographer uh, at the camp for like five days, so I got to be immersed in his teachings and get to learn all the stuff, and after about two years of doing that, um, Art asked me to come out and film in uh, my first motion picture, which was uh, Gangland out in uh, Hollywood, out in uh, L.A. Tell, tell her the truth. I apologize. Tell her okay. the truth. You, you bought me a new car. That's how you made it in Hollywood. That's how I got you in film. I mean, be honest. Come on. <laughs> you bought him a old, new car? Old Mercedes. It was, oh, it's old Mercedes. Okay. It's all good. Art, you are known. Like, you are legit stunt. Like, you know, your name, your middle name is Stunt. Um, <laughs> how did you decide to decide that you were going to do this as a profession? You know, it, it was uh, very easy because I, as a kid, you're always doing play fights. Okay. And out of the blue, one day, my instructor calls me up and he says, hey, are you want to get your butt kicked for 50 bucks? I said, cool. And that was it. <laughs> that was that. I got my butt kicked for 50 bucks and I was hooked. And I was really good at it because I really study a lot, study film a lot. I, you know, I, I watch films, every fight film you can imagine. And so that's how I learned how to do all the stunts and all that and, and just came natural. When I asked you where you grew up or whatever, you said Los Angeles. And I was like, wow. I was like, really? Like Los Angeles? Like Cheech and Chong, Los Angeles? <laughs> she did say that. She did say that. <laughs> so uh, growing up there, you took what you learned, I guess, in your neighborhood or whatever, and you developed it into an entire career for yourself. But you are known. You wrote a book. Right. Oh, yes. So let's talk about your new book. A Filmmaker's Journey. I don't even know the title of my own book. Okay. <laughs> a Filmmaker's Journey. Okay. And, and you know what? This book came about about five years ago, and a publisher asked me, hey, we want to tell your story. Right. How does a, a fat kid from the barrio go to Hollywood and become an award-winning director, writer, you name it? And um, I refused. I said, nobody's interested in my story. And after a few years, finally, I gave in because a lot of people, I do a lot of seminars, and they asked me, they go, how did you do it? I mean, they, they think it's always, it's easy. They think, you know, you were born into it. And no, no. I really share the, the key points of my life that were pivotal to my, to my basically turning to films. Because honestly, I, I, I really see myself as a product of failure and rejection. And I just managed to turn that around. Instead of feeling sorry for myself and thinking, oh my God, you know. No, man. I go out there and say, you know what? I got my butt kicked. It's not going to happen again. Right. Stand up. Stand, Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Do you find, too, when you started working together on Assassin X, which we did a, a whole story on, which was phenomenal, your film, yeah. Did, did, you, find, did, you, did you find some of the challenges um, that you were facing in your film, you know, easier to deal with because you have so much experience working with each other? Like, the teamwork and the com camaraderie between you two is phenomenal. So how did that how did that help during, you know, working on this project together? Well, we've been working since the 90s together. <coughs> and... Um, you know, I got this group together and we formed our company, Throwing Star Films, which was great, and Art's one of the producers on it. So there's the four of us, Cherise Hishme and Joe Navarro, myself, and Sifu Camacho. <laughs> and um, <coughs> we got Wait, together. Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Oh, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. there you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we got together and we came up with an idea and just getting everything rolling. Art has all the con uh, connections out in California. I had the team in New York. So we just pulled it together and got working on that and with uh, all, all the things that he taught me. And really, it was an education just being on the set for this film, being a producer and acting in the film and just nonstop. When you're with this guy, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I think there's another day edit in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. He doesn't sleep. What advice would you give somebody that uh, wanted to get into the martial arts? I know you've got a brand new location for your dojo, right? Um, so what would you say if somebody wanted to learn to try to use the martial arts and then develop it into being part of the film industry? You know, for me, the thing I tell everybody is, and here's the, the message of my, of my book and everything I do in life is live the dream. A lot of the times we limit ourselves because we think, I can never do that. We can. You're, you're living your dream. I am so, and not to blow smoke, but... I am so impressed with seeing you work right now. We were here a few minutes while they were setting up the cameras, and this lady is a powerhouse. She is phenomenal, oh. not only on camera, obviously, but behind. She really knows her craft, and that's the thing. You know your craft. You know cameras. You know lighting. 
kudos. Kudos. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much. Really. And we were even talking a little bit. Maybe you could teach me some. Maybe I could be in your next film that you guys are doing. You have something coming up, uh, Father to Father? Father... Yeah, Father and Father. The father movie. and Father. Okay. Um, executive producer, Dr. Robert Goldman. <laughs> Um, Mark Goldman uh, producing also. Uh, I'm involved producing and acting in the film. Art's coming along. He's doing the choreography, doing a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we're actually using my new location in Deer Park for Kazan Dojo to, uh, you know, do all the fight choreography and all the working out for like two straight days before we even get into this little film short. But uh, yeah, it's a great story about two priests and there's a mobster that comes in and the whole thing just uh, blows <laughs> out of control. And we're going to have some great fight scenes with this guy. He's, he's the master. And uh, it's great to have him out here from California. It really is. And, and before we wrap up, can you just tell us briefly, like one moment in time on your timeline that stands out for you that we could read about in the book? I think when I, uh, I got beat up. It's, uh, I was out one night. It was a stupid thing on my end. I was walking to the liquor store and five guys from a rival neighborhood, jumped me. I have 11 stitches here, stitches everywhere. And the, the thing that you never forget when, when you're a victim of violence is the, the smell of your own blood and the warm feeling that it's pouring down your face. And I don't say that in a pitiful way. I say that, you know what? It made me stronger. And because of that, it made me really with the attitude that that's never gonna happen to me again. It stands out a lot because I'm telling you, failure, rejection, violence, and everything led me to a great life. I'm living my dream. You absolutely are. I was checking out your IMDb and I was like, oh yeah, he did that and he did that and he did this and he did that and same with you. Congratulations on all of your wonderful success you. and the joy that you bring to the audiences because what you do is beautiful on, on camera. So thank, thank you, you very so much. much to both of you. Thanks, Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We hope you enjoyed this segment. Please check them out, check out their IMDb's, uh, their websites, uh, get the book, get the film, it's all good. Thanks for watching Live It Up.